Hello, beginners and families. Um, we just started doing fingers, which is great. And so I wanna make sure that you know what they're supposed to sound like. Um, there's another video about how they're supposed to be placed and how you put your hands and all those things. And now here's one about what it should sound like. Uh, I'm sitting this time so that I can go back and forth between a violin and a cello. So my, my violin doesn't have tapes on it, but your students should have some tapes on their, on the fingerboard of their instrument. And <clears throat> those tapes give us, give us a guide for where our fingers are gonna go. What we've been working with is block fingering. So on violins and violas, we've been doing open, one, two, three, three, two, one, open. And the pattern should sound the same on all of their strings which is like this. Okay, so if they move to their D string, it'll sound like this. I want them to set their fingers down and then leave them down so that if they need to be playing their third finger they've got one and two and three all down okay if they haven't already told you in strings our fingers are numbered one two three and four thumb doesn't get a number it's not like piano um, so those are those are our finger numbers um, on cello they get to play with their fourth finger um, before the violins and violas do so on theirs they have, they should have a tape for one, three, and four, okay? But their second finger is still, is still gonna go down. There we go. So, when they play, it should do that same kind of sound. So we've got open, one, sure that it sounds nice um, if it sounds like if it does this kind of like ghosty sound like this where it kind of sounds weird there's a couple of things that could be going on either they've got not enough weight into their bow or they haven't pressed their finger all the way into the string in class we talked about elephants and how when an elephant is walking through the forest if they step on a stick, they don't all of a sudden go, oh no, I've stepped on a stick, and everything all goes weird and they fall down. Nope, they just step on it and their foot goes around it and it's no problem. So they're supposed to think about the tips of their fingers, like elephant feet, stepping onto a stick. So they're not stepping into the string, they're stepping all the way into the fingerboard. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.